Hi everybody, and welcome to your full Inferno yoga class. So my name is Tara, and I call it Inferno because we're going to heat from the inside out your muscles. Today's going to be a half a practice, but we're going to have a lot of vinyasa flow elements. So we're going to use a lot of breath and movement to create a lot of fire in the muscles today, as well as a lot of stretch. So we're going to begin with your Ujjayi breath. So I want you to just sit in a place of comfort. You can be cross-legged, half lotus, whatever feels good for you. I want you to breathe in and breathe out. So breathe in and out through the nose naturally. So just finding the natural rhythm of your breath. Now we should focus on breathing in and out to the same rhythm. So let's breathe in. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Create even in breath and out breath. Relaxing your shoulders, preparing for your practice. So breathe in four and exhale four. Let that feel good. Feel the energy rushing in the chest. And then exhale. Beautiful. So we're starting to connect, we've relaxed our shoulders and our body, and we're prepared to practice. So I just want you to take the wrists, and I just want you to roll them around gently. So we're just waking up our hands and our wrists, relaxing our jaw and our eyes, breathing in and breathing out. Great job. Now we've got to wake up those feet. So I want you to take the feet forward of you and just point them down. And then pull your toes up to your knees. So point them down. Let that feel good. And then pull them back. So all I'm doing is I'm stretching my feet down. Feeling that stretch on the top of my feet. And then I pull my toes to my knees, flexing the bottoms. Relaxing the shoulders. Now if you're joining me on the playlist on Spotify, now's a great time to hit start on the wing song. So breathe in. And breathe out. Great job. Now I'll show you the cat cat. So spin around onto your knees. Starfish hands are underneath your shoulders. I want you to breathe and lift your chest and exhale, lift chest and tail. So breathe and pull your belly high into your spine and then exhale, let it go. So breathe and pull the belly up. Feel that mobility in the spine and then exhale. Now on this breath, push your hand to the floor, stretch your shoulders, and then exhale and come down. So breathe in, pull high, and exhale, lift up. Just find the rhythm of your breath. Now we're going to stretch those core and the wrist one more time. So I want you just to rock forward gently, pressure the hands, stretching the back of your wrist. So keeping most of the weight in your legs. Let's back off, let's do it again. Breathe in, just gently rock the shoulders forward of your fingers. Feel that stretch in the wrist. Now flip the hands, back of the palms down, weight in your legs. Gently press down, feel that gentle stretch in the upper part of the wrist. And just relax. Awesome job. Now we're gonna come into seated rock. I want you to tuck your toes, and sit back onto your heels. So feeling the weight in your heels, letting it sit back. And this is going to stretch the back of your calves as well as the bottom of the foot. Now we don't feel as much of an active stretch in the bottom of the foot because there's no muscle there. So relax the shoulders and breathe. Great job. Now from here, I want you to lift your tail, feet hip width apart, Bend your knees until you can get your hands flat on the floor. Tuck your chin and find folds. So you might have to bend your knees deeply and that's okay. So just breathe, let your upper body be heavy. And when you're ready, take your hands to your shins. Lift your chest parallel to the floor, flat back extend. Now pull your shoulders into your back and lengthen your spine. Like there's a rope from the top of the head to the wall pulling you long. This stretches at the back of our legs and allows us to lengthen through that body. 
Bend your knees, fall to forward. And just let your shoulders be heavy like a rag doll. Now on your next out breath, just walk the body up. Feet come just under your hips to mountain. Let's rise up, big breath in. Hands come through heart center. Breathe in, lift up. And exhale, fall. Great job. Chin down. Now come through heart center. Feel the focus and warmth. And then fall. So breathe in, pull up. And exhale, fall. So start to find the rhythm and mobility in the body. Can you reach those arms nice and wide when you fall? And then pull the breath high in the chest, in breath, out breath. Feel the warmth in the palms. Now I want you to hold an extended mountain. Pull ribs from hips. Great job. We're coming to our sun salutation. So I want you to come onto the end of your mat. Feet just under your hip bones, not the sides of your hips. Create that foundation. Tuck your tail under, roll your shoulders back. So we want that mountain alignment of shoulder, hip, to ankle bone. Open up the corners of your foot. Breathe in and extend your mountain. Bend the knees and fall. Eyes to your knees to back wall to fold. Now your right leg takes a big step back to lunge. Front knee over ankle. Push back to down dog. So feet and hands hip width apart. Open starfish hands. Now let's roll to a plank. First round, land on your knees. And then stack your shoulders over your hands. You might need to correct alignment. Do so now. Lower your chest down to elbow height. Chaturanga. Let your belly land. Pull your shoulders back for baby cobra. Now try this. Pull your front ribs forward. Feel the intensity in the back. Let's lift our hips, down dog. Now your right leg is going to come up high. Square the power in your shoulders. And let that base heel fall. Now I want you to take that right leg under the body and let it land wide with your hands to open through your hips. Lift your chest. Step opposite foot wide. Tuck chin, find hold. Now arms come wide, big in breath. Exhale, bend the knees and fall. Now our feet stay wide to open deeper through the hips. Left leg, take a big step back. Lift your chest from your hands, open hip. Push back to down dog, feet and hands hip width apart. Now to roll to plank, knees or toes. And then exhale, float down, chaturanga. Now you can stay low, cobra, or squeeze your bum for up dog. Exhale, lift hips, down dog, press chest to thighs. Left leg, lift high. Square power in hands. Feel that open hip. Take that leg under, let it step wide. Help it if you need to with the hand. Open through the hips, breath in. Exhale, step wide, tuck chin, fold. Bend the knees and rise. Tuck and fall. Now that right leg takes a big step back again. Lift chest in breath. Exhale to close your dog. Roll to plank, body length. Exhale, float down, bracing belly. Now breathe in, pull hips forward to up dog. Exhale, push back down dog. Bend the knees, right leg steps wide. No up dog this time, or no three legged dog. Opposite leg step wide, tuck chin. Arms come high and wide, big in breath. Bend the knees and fall. Left leg, take a big step back. Push back. Line that down dog, pressing chest to thighs. 
Roll through the tree plank, feel that power. Exhale, float down. Then breathe in, lift up, pull shoulders behind the heart. Exhale, lift hips, down dog. Bend knees, left leg step wide. Lifting to the chest, breathing in. Exhale, step opposite leg, bend knees, lift belly to fold. Arms can high. So the salutation done. I want you to come to the center mat. There, mine's good. You will wiggle up there. Now I want you to take your hand feet wide. How wide? Put as wide as your wings. Now your left foot turns to the wall. Left knee over ankle. Square the hips and tuck your tail for warrior two. Open that front knee. Arms come wide. Roll the shoulders back, so breathe in and breathe out. Now get nice and long on your mat, because it's long for a reason. Relax your upper body and let your legs do some work. So breathe in and breathe out. Feel the power in that. Now I want you to flip this front hand open, your left hand. We're going to find sun. So breathe in, lift the arm, pull rib from the hip. And then exhale, bring the arm down the thigh, extend. Breathe in, breathe out. So every time you move, you breathe. In breath, rib pull from hip gently, exhale, come on down from the thigh. Now hold this next one up, push off that left leg, reverse triangle. Hand come down, other side. Reset feet to front. Right foot to wall. Right knee over ankle. Square the hips, tuck the tail. Here we are again. So breathe in and breathe out. Open that knee. Relax those shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out. Find that hip coming down. Don't want to pop up. Lift that right hand. Let's find the sun. Breathe in. Exhale. Pull forearm down with that. In breath. Exhale. Now stay low in your legs here. Finding the beauty and the flow of this movement. In breath. Out breath. Now hold this next one up. Push off that right leg. Reverse triangle. All right, now bring your feet to the corners of your mat. We come to God. So I want you to sit low in your legs. Tuck your tail. Lift the chest. Arms come up. Strong goddess arms. All right, now try this. Tip forward, core control. Bring forearms together. Reach them long. Feel the power in your core. Raise the belly, pull back. Breathe in, sink low in legs, feel the heat there. Bring the hands together. Stretch them long, feel that intensity, and then pull back. Sink into the power. Breathe in. Breathe out, heating from the inside out. That's the inferno part. Reach forward, pull back. Now you're going to start to sweat, that's okay. Pull low. Tip forward. Feel the strength in your legs. Reach and pull back. Now hold this one in goddess. Relax the shoulders. Now the legs start to burn. Start to feel a heat up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Can you do one more? You can. You can. Come down. Squeeze. Power. Lengthen. Pull back. Strengthen. Hands come down, shoulders roll back, breathe in, breathe out. Now you're gonna hold this. You're gonna hold it for a few seconds. You know you can let the legs shake. Let them shake. Hands to thighs, push on. Awesome job. Whew, shake what you've got, shake. My goodness. Now we're gonna release into the hips a little bit. So I want you to come back into goddess. I want your feet to be in the corners of your mat. Sink the knees out wide again. Now shift your body weight to your legs. So don't let the shoulders do any work. 
Now the hands are on the legs for support. We're going to twist your goddess. So take your left shoulder and turn it down towards your inside thigh. Breathe in, center. Right shoulder, turn down. Feel that through the hip and the back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Coming as low as feels good to you. Breathe in. Breathe out. It's getting hot in the studio now. Awesome. Turn the feet to four arms. Gently tuck in your belly and fold. Find a wide fold. So maybe you want to come a little wider. Maybe you got to come in a little bit. Play with the distance of your folds. Hands can be under pelvis if you want more. Relax the shoulders, feel the true weight of your head here. Great job. Now hands to thighs, balance challenge here, as well as strength. Can you lengthen your chest? Parallel to floor. If that's not an option for you, if it's too hard, just put your hands down. But I want you to roll your shoulders into the back. Feel the strength and power of your core. And stretch your legs here. Let's roll up. Step the feet in. It's time for some balance time. Just shake it. All right. Now you can be on your mat or off. It's whatever feels better for your body. So let's start in just a tree. Shift your weight to your left leg. But make sure to pull your hip in. We're not hitchhiking. So pull it in. Weight in left leg. Right leg opens to low tree, which is heel to ankle. Hands to heart center. Roll the shoulders back. Now if your tree can get a little taller in the legs, you can bring the foot to the low calf or to upper thigh, as long as you avoid your knee. So relax your shoulders and find a still spot on the floor to center your gaze. Now allow yourself to be rooted through that leg, but relax your foot. Breathe in, breathe out. Relax the jaw. Awesome job. Now, if you can, take your right hand under your right leg for side angle lift. Now you can negotiate with this opposite arm for balance if you like. Shoulder relaxed. Now, are you here, or do you want to start to extend the legs, start to play with the balance a little farther? If you're advanced, you can piece in your big toe, and you can fully extend. But if that's not happening, I'm all wiggly on the side, that's okay. Breathe in, breathe out. Balance changes every day. Take it down. All right, now I want you to put your weight in your right leg, pull the hip in, tree. Low tree, shoulders relax, calf or ankle. Maybe the side is different. Find where it feels good for you. Shoulders soften, feel the foot press in. Find that balance with the sight. This side the tree grows for the warmth in the hands. Lift them up, relaxing your shoulders. Soften your knees, your fingers. Soften the jaw. And relax that base foot. Now be patient with balance. It might be wing knee on the side of the forest, and that's okay. Hand come under left thigh, negotiate balance. Breathe in, breathe out. Now where are we on this side? Can you lengthen your leg out? Maybe not. If you're advanced, you can piece bigger and you can fully extend. Come on now. All right, we're going to come into Eagle, which is going to be strength as well as balance. So I want you to sit back into a chair. So sit back into a chair, push your bum back. Right leg, come up and over. Toe can be down or up. Arms come up. Right arm under. You can be here or fully down. Breathe in, lift your elbows, and relax your shoulders. Now, twist the eagle. 
So the lower you get, the easier the balance, but the harder it is on the standing leg. So you find that sweet spot that's just right for you. Let your eye gaze just go past the hands. So your arms go kind of transparent. Great job, let's untangle. Other side, feet together. Sit back into your chair. Shoulders relax, left leg up and over. Toe down or up. Arms come up, left arm under, here or right. Breathe in, lift the elbows, relax the shoulders. Now squeeze the belly here and find a still spot for sight. Now if you're up here, it's a lot of balance. If you're low, it's a lot of strength. Breathe generously into the body here. Let's untangle. Great job. All right, we're going to come into some hips. So I just want you to sit on down onto the floor. Sit on down, crisscross applesauce with your right leg in front. Now, if you can do more, right foot on top of left knee, flexing foot to protect knee. Now, if it half lotus, you can get your foot up by your pelvis, that's awesome, but I don't want that today. I want it to be on the knee so we can stretch through the side walls of your muscle. Move your seat bones back. Take a beautiful breath in. Lengthen the channel in your back. Keeping your collarbones up, I want you to come forward. Hands to floor. And then walk until you find the edge of your pose. So tuck chin and just let it feel good. But try to keep that length to your spine. We don't want to curl like a turtle. And if you're very bent, you can bring the hands behind you and feel the full weight of the chest. So just breathe, inhale and exhale. Keeping your sit bones grounded. Great job, let's rise up. We're gonna change sides. So change feet, this time left leg in front, cross-legged, or left foot on top, half lotus. Move those cheeks, find those connection points. Breathe in. Open channel and spine, lengthen and fall. Now maybe you're up here, maybe that's enough for you. If you want more, come down. Option sweeping hands behind. But just let your lower body be heavy here. In breath and out breath. Now we're in this pose for a few more breaths. Don't be in a hurry. Let's rise when you're ready. Gently rise up. Now we're in our journey to the pigeon. So I want you to take that left leg and bring it behind you. So your legs are almost in 290 angles. If you know pigeon, go right to it with your left leg back. If you haven't done this before, 90 angles where we start. Flex the foot, square your chest to your calf. Back leg in a 90 angle. So level one is just bring your hands forward and bring your chest forward until you feel a good stretch right here. Tuck your chin and feel that length. If this is enough for you, that's fine. You stay right here in your 90 angles. If you want to try more, hands down, lengthen that left leg back until you can square your hips to the mat. Now maybe you have to bring this foot closer to the pelvis as long as you keep the foot flexed and the knee comfortable, that's fine. So high pigeon is right here, breathe in, breathe out. But maybe you want to extend your pigeon. If that's you, that's all right. Stretch that leg back a little longer, come to the forearms. Relax into the shoulders. So maybe you have some weight in the forearms, that's completely fine. Making sure our hips are square to the floor and that front knee still feels good. If you're advanced, come right down into an extension. Breathe in and breathe out. Feel the 
Feel the weight of your swan. Maybe you can lengthen that leg a little longer. Let your shoulders relax. Now at any time, if you want to hold the pose longer, that's the power of the internet, just pause. All right, hands come under shoulders, push yourself up, big breath in, and now just roll on to your right butt cheek. Slide that back foot up to your toe. Right hand under you like a second spine. We're gonna find spiral. Breathe in, lift up, push your hips forward. So I squeeze my bum, I push my hips forward to open through the front of my hands. If you're very bendy, turn your chest towards the ceiling. And lower down. That feel good. Now we're gonna do the other side. So I just want you to turn the legs. So again, if you know pigeon, if you're comfortable there, stretch that right leg back, head to it. If not, we're setting up 90 90 again. So this time, flex that left foot, square your chest to that front calf. Lean forward till it feels good, until you feel that massive stretch. If that's enough on this side, because each side can be different, stay here. If you want more, lengthen right leg. Square hips to the floor, flex foot, protect knee. Now are you high? Are you good here? Maybe even hip slide a block. If you have a yoga block and you want to slide under, that's a great way to find pigeon. Option two, come on down to the forearms. Adding a little bit of support here. Breathing in, lengthening, and as you exhale, let the hips drop heavy. So if this is good, this is where we are. If you want full extension, you come on down. And your pigeon just knees. But as you breathe here, try to lengthen up that long leg just a little farther. Now on your next exhale, take your hands underneath your shoulders and lift up. Roll onto that left butt cheek, slide that right leg up to touch the toe. Left hand underneath, second spine. Breathe in, squeeze the glutes, push forward and open through front body. And if you can, if you're feeling comfortable, turn chest up and fully extend your spine. Tuck chin, come on down. Oh, great job. Now we're going to work into our shoulders and into the back of the shoulder and the body. So I want you to come onto your knees. Finding a little relief in the shoulders is awesome, especially if you sit at the desk all day. This is a great one for you to know and one of my favorites, puppy pose. So I want you to come onto the knees with your bum in the air. Stretch your arms as far as they'll go and then push your chest towards the floor. Walking those hands a little further. Now, if you're advanced, you can lift on with the chin, but that's not needed. Just breathe in and breathe out. So as we push the chest down, we feel the back of the shoulders lengthen. Now, I'm gonna give you a few good breaths here. So just stay, just relax. All right, now we're going to work deeper into the strength of our shoulders. So I want you to come on to the forearms, and I want you just to lace, begin to lace the arms, or fingers. So lace your hands together onto the forearms, thumbs still in the air, dolphin pose. So I want you to tuck your toes, and I want you to lift your hips, putting your head between your arms, head off the ground, pushing your chest towards your thighs, dolphin pose. So as you push your forearms into the floor, you feel the strength in the back of your shoulders. Hold that for a few breaths and come down to the knees. Stretch the arms out and come into a child's pose with dolphin arms. And we're gonna try it again. Yeah, we are. So I want you to come onto the forearms, tuck toes, and lift up. So again, gently pressing your chest towards your thighs, letting those heels fall. As you push the forearms in, you feel strength running up the back of the shoulders into the back of the arms, through the scapula, 
Let's come on down. Can we do another puppy pose? Reach and press chest to floor, keeping those sit bones in the air. And you might come give a little bit more mobility now, a little bit more warmth in that muscle. Let me burn out, burning from the inside out. So now that we've got some work coming, we're going to come into some abs. But first, we want to release those hips again because it's one of my favorite things to do. So I want you to take the knees wide. So feel lots of stretch, no pain. Toes together. A very wide child's pose. So just come forward with the arms. Gently pushing your hips back into spinal some release. Now at any time throughout our yoga work, warm up or workout, sorry. If you want to come into child's pose, absolutely do so. Bringing you some relief. All right, hands under your shoulders. Let's lift up. We're going to come into our plank. So since we're here, I want you to come back onto the forearms and interlace the fingers again. Move the knees back until your hips and your shoulders are the same height. Roll your shoulders into your back and squeeze your ribs. So I want you to squeeze your ribs hard, tuck your chin, create that long spine. Now we're going to hold this for a few seconds. Can you challenge? Can you tuck the toes and lift up into full plank? Strong breathing here. As we prepare to fire our core through both. So knees down, take a little breath if you need to, maybe then push back. One more round. Shift shoulders over elbows. Option tuck toes, come back and hold for 30 seconds. So breathe in and breathe out. Push the forearms in, feel how active your core gets when you do so. Your back is flat as a board. If you're feeling low back, come to knees. A few more seconds. In breath and out breath. Got a great Rihanna song right now. All right, let's land on the knees. And let's come on to your sit bones. So I want your feet forward. I want you to lift your chest. So come forward, lift your chest and collarbones, and lean back till you feel the belly puff up, till you feel it active. Arms forward, shoulders relaxed. Now try to soften through the hips. Don't let the hip flexors do all the work. Breathe in, breathe out. Squeezing the belly hard like there's a rope from the belly to the wall. Couple more seconds and lift up. Now we're going to advance that. I know you're excited. You don't even have a tongue. So I want you to take your feet. You can stay there. I'm just giving you side view. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the collarbones. Lean back till that belly puffs out. Active. Now, if this was enough for you, take the weight out of your heels and hold it. If you can do more, lift the legs. Woo! Balance and core stability. All right, feet come down, take a breath, shake out the shoulders. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna advance a little farther. Yes, you are. I know you're saying, I don't want to, pause her. No, we're going to do it. Lift the shoulders back, fall back. Now again, if that's enough for you right now, lift the heels, and we try level two another day. If you can, lift the legs, and if you're feeling wild, arms out, legs up and hold. If the legs are shaking, they're just really nervous about what's happening right now. Bring the knees in. Ooh, take a breath. That was great. Oh, feet together. Take hold of the ankles. Give yourself a little collar. Relaxing the shoulders, taking breath. Now I want to start try something fun today. And I know what you're thinking that my fun is probably different than your fun, and that's okay. So I want you to take the knees in. We're going to try to lift the legs and have a little bit of a power element to this boat pose. So one more round. You can do this. Lift the shoulders. Lean back. Level one. If you're here, stay here. Level two. Option. If you're feeling crazy, tap the toe, crunch it. Tap the toe, crunch it. Rock in the boat. Tap, crunch, tap. Crunch, relax shoulders, four more, three, two, and one. Oh, yoga abs. Speaking of that core, we're going to fire it into your posterior chain. Fancy term for the back of your body. 
So here's what I want you to do. I want you to come onto your hands and your knees. So starfish hands right under your shoulders, okay? Feet flat, create that tabletop back, chin down. Now we're gonna do sunbird. So I want you to stretch out your left arm and your right leg. So left arm, right leg. So I'm gonna give side view. So left arm and right leg, chin down. Square your hips to the floor and lift nice and high. Now we're going to move this sunbird. So we're going to take the arms and legs to the corners and then back. In breath and out breath. This is stability, balance, and core back work. So how wide do you come? Wide enough that you feel a little pinch in your glute on that right side leg. So one more, lengthen, hold it, chin down, and come down. Now, right hand, left foot, square hips and shoulders, chin down. When you're ready, move it to the corner and back. Corner and back. In breath, out breath. Now try your best to keep your hips still. We are not Shakira. So we do not want our hips rolling around. Couple more. Last one. So can you lift the arm a little higher as we hold? And come on down. Let's come to the child's pose. Toes together, reach the arms long and press down. Just take a recovery breath. As we're getting ready to add some twists. So we warm up the body. Our heart rate is lifted. We need to come down that mountain. So for your twists, we're going to begin supine. I want you to come down and control the roll as you head to the floor. So control the roll, hands wide, all the way onto the floor. Now I want you to stack so that knees are over hips, shins parallel. Drop the legs down to the front. Now I want you to line up your knees and one hip bone over the other for stability in your pelvis. Then lift up your shoulders and pin them down. At that point, your knees will fall apart, but that's okay. So just eyes to back hands, relaxing our shoulders down heavy. If you need more from this pose, take your knees closer to your underarm and take that right hand onto the thigh, which is going to allow you to further your rotation just a bit. And just feel that rib rise and fall. Now let's do that other side. So I want you to stack the legs back over, hands wide, and fall the legs to the other direction. One hip bone stack over the other, lift the shoulders, and repin. So at no time should your shoulders come off. Eyes to back hands. And just feel the breath come in and out of the body. If you want more knees closer to armpits. Relax the jaw. Let's take those knees back to the center, grab back the thighs, let's rock the bodies to seat it. We're going to come into a seated twist. So I want your right leg to come long, left leg here, or here. If you can set your foot down and your hip comfortably doing this, do so. If this needs to be farther, that's fine. So breathe in, lift into the chest, and then exhale, turn your chest into your thigh. So I want you to rotate your chest, not just your head. Use that imagery. Now hugging the leg gives you a beautiful glute stretch, but if your focus is rotation, hook the elbow above the knee and gently further it. Keeping in mind, this is the yoga class, not the exorcist, okay? So we don't need to turn all the way around. Now you're going to feel the muscles wind up. I want you to breathe up and down that channel in your spine. And when the intensity starts to build, rotate the chest, hooking left arm 
inside of God and turn away. That moment is always golden. Your back's going to crack usually. That's what happens. All right, other side. So I want you to lengthen out. Left leg, right leg comes up wherever is good. Option, take it over the leg. Sit bone down. Breathe in. Turn chest into thigh. Now this arm is right behind me. Again, acting as the second spine, lifting me up. Now soften your jaw, lift your arms. Just let your gaze come around, coming over back shoulder. If you want more rotation, option, hook, exhale. Now when that tension starts to build, so you feel those beautiful back muscles tighten up, we know what to do. We turn our chest, hook right arm inside leg, and an open twist. Great job. Now I want you to take both legs forward. We're just going to work a little deeper into that turn. So feet hip width, right hand behind, left arm inside. Breathe in. Turn away from that left arm. Then breathe in, change sides. Left hand behind, right arm in, breathe in to lengthen. Exhale to twist away. So just working a little bit deeper in the mobility of your back. All right, let's take our feet, close it to cobbler. Just let the knees fall out, taking hold of your ankles, not your feet. Don't be a toe puller. Shoulders relax, just let the knees fall out. Now, if you're wondering why my knees go all the way to the ground, my ears are up here. That's all right. Just want to practice. Relax through the shoulders. We're preparing to come into our hamstrings and bend head. So now I'm going to ask you to push your feet away from you. Move your sit bones back. You've created a little window with the legs here. Now, all class, I'm going to say, lift the chest, straight back, straight back. Now, I'm going to let you bend your back. Tuck your belly in and just bring your hands onto your legs to a turtle pose. Tuck your chin, soften the back of your neck. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, I want you to move around and get all the bubbles out of your heads. And maybe you can come deeper, maybe that feels good for you. Warming up the hamstrings, the inside of our hips, stretching out through the glutes. Now, if you're very flexible, you might be able to bring your head all the way down, but that is not the goal. The goal is the stretch. Knee and foot up. 
Breathe in. You can lengthen through the spine, relax the shoulders, and tip forward. Now hands can be here, here, wherever is good for you. Squaring your chest to this leg, tucking your chin, but it's not about how low you get. Low is about ego, and there's no room for that in your back. I want you to lengthen by pulling your collarbones towards your foot. Relaxing through the shoulders. So maybe you find you're up high, that's totally okay. Just breathe and feel that length in the back wall of the leg. Now we're here for a few breaths, so breathe in. Inhale all the tension and then exhale it out. If your leg's shaking a little bit, that's okay. It's just really nervous about what's happening now. Shake is okay, pain is not. If you've got pain, back off. In breath. Out breath. Now, why are we here so long? Because that's stretching. We don't have to hop in and out of a pose. Let's rise up. Now, just stretch out that right leg, left foot comes in. Thigh, calf, pelvis, wherever it's good. Move that right foot cheek back. Square the knee and foot. Square chest in breath. Fall. Square chest to thigh. You might feel a bit of a stretch in the back wall of your body, and that's okay. As long as your focus is pulling your collarbones towards your toes. Now you can flex your foot, you can point them. It's natural for my body to want to point a little bit. Square the chest. Pull it long. Now again, if you want to use a strap, great time to do so. We need to relax through our shoulders and let the focus be that precious light. Now we're going to work a little deeper into the inside of your thigh. So I want you to take your legs wide. How wide? Lots of stretch, no pain. Move those sit bones back, lift the chest. If you need to bend the knees, do it. Lift the chest, keep those collarbones lifted, and walk forward until you feel a big stretch on the interior of the thighs. Shoulders soft. Now maybe you're really high in this pose. Honor your body and where your practice is today. Just breathe, move around a little bit if you need to. Soften through the shoulders. Now, the edge of your pose, where you hit that limit, it may move as you breathe. So breathe in and breathe out. And if the edge of your pose moves, walk a little deeper. But if you found you walk too far, pull it back. Stretch, never pain. Soften through the brow and the jaw. We carry a lot of tension in our face. So just breathe. Maybe you want to walk a little farther. Maybe not. You are good breaths here. In breath and out breath. And we'll walk up slowly. We're coming towards the end of our practice. We're really winding down and working deep into the muscles. So now I want you to take your toes together. And I want you to open up your knees. Then I want you to come on down onto your forearms and let your knees fall out. Now right away to that lower back goes, oh, thank goodness. So we're coming into our butterfly. Our legs are heavy. 
play with the distance of the feet. Maybe you'll get closer to your pelvis, maybe you'll get farther out and play with that. See how you are today. And then when you're ready, lay on down to the floor. And then take your arms over your head, just cup your elbows, lace your forearms, and let your shoulders fall heavy. Now this pose should feel super good. Namaste. 